Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to introduce to you the Finn Garden, also known as Shah Garden, which is located in Kashan city and has about 34,000 square meters floor area. This building dates back to 500 years ago, when Safavi dynasty were ruling over Iran in 1501 to 1736. This place recorded in World Heritage List of UNESCO Organization. By passing time, this structure was damaged by a devastating earthquake, but fortunately this garden was reconstructed by Qajar kings and extended to When you come in the main area of this garden, there is a covered area with its own pool, looks like a pavilion and was used during summer season for holding ceremonies and family gatherings. This section has two floors, the upper one was used by women and the other one used by men. This building has a pool with a hole in it and people believe that if you throw a coin in it, your wish will come true. This is a superstition that derived from Zoroastrian myth, which says if you give a gift to the god of water, she would grant you a bounty. In another pavilion, we have the same design with this difference that there are magnificent paintings and murals on the walls and ceilings by eminent artists. Also there are some portraits of Qajar King, known as Fatali Shah, who decreed to renovation and extension of this place. Paintings on the walls represent flowers and plants, all of them were inspired by motifs of Iranian carpets. In other parts you can see some paintings with hunting themes, which was a popular hobby. In the courtyard there are 579 cypress and 11 sycamore trees, most of them are aged between 100 to 470 years. Trees and pools have a crucial role in cooling the area aside from aesthetic aspect and are inseparable from Iranian architecture. These elements also create a serene and calm mood for visitors. At each flower bed there are some bushes which separate the courtyard from the trees. The whole area was enclosed by a giant wall for protecting the garden.
In the designing process of fountains, architects use some clay tubes that are located underground which have a bigger diameter at the beginning and a smaller one at the end. Consider that the clay tube makes a mild angle with the ground level. These two features make the water flow easily and come out of the fountain with rather pressure. Every pool is decorated with turquoise tiles. The whole watering system is fed by Soleimanier aqueduct. We have another amazement which is a perforated pool that has 160 holes. Every other hole pushes the water out and the rest of them suck the water in. So the total pressure remains the same and no amount of water pours out of the pool. Main living room with colorful windows which was used during cold seasons is away from the pools and located at the end of this area. This room is adjacent to two small rooms that were used by servants but the main living room was used by kings and their families. Niches have special carvings and motifs to double down the beauty of these rooms. There is a bathroom which was used during that time and decorated with unique tiles and built with strong materials to keep the basement of the structure durable and insulated against moisture. Aside from that, this building is famous 
as the assassination place of Iranian chancellor known as Amir Kabir who was murdered by Qajar King's ordinance. There are some statues in this bathroom that shows that assassination scene. At the other side we have a museum replete with ancient artifacts and handicrafts. Most of them are clay dishes used for keeping flour, pickles and other edible materials. There are some jewelries like necklace used by indigenous people. In another booth there are some copper plates and an old lamp that burned fat to create heat and light. We have some ancient coins made of silver or gold with king's faces carved on them. Carpets and rugs are other handicrafts that you can see in this section. Native clothes are also in this museum that shows how people dress in that time and most of them have paisley patterns. There are some calligraphy art section in this place that shows ancient penmanship. You can see some pencil case with beautiful patterns used for keeping calligraphy tools. In the next booth, there are some handmade carpets. There are some kitchen appliances made of copper and some pretty tiles in stellar forms with outstanding paintings on them. In another section we have an old dagger plus some dishes that were used as goblet to hold beverages. There is a stone plate with Arabic handwriting. In the next part we have some glass dishes with special patterns. Wooden door with rhombus or hexagonal motifs that were used in old times. These doors were so hefty and strong which were used to protect important places like palaces. Handmade scarf that is held in this booth which shows Iranian textile art. 
The main entrance is a building which has two floors and a balcony overlooking the courtyard and the alley. There are four towers with battlements at each corner to provide a place for scouting and protecting the whole garden. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section and if you like please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.